Heavenly Gifts Jesus Elucidates The Seven Evil Spirits June 4th, 1840 The Lord says about Luke 11, 24 to 26. When the impure spirit has been driven out of a human, he will wander through desolate places and he will be looking for a resting place there. And when he doesn't find anything, he says, I want to return to my house which I have left. Once he reaches it, he finds it nicely swept and cleaned up. Thereupon he goes and takes seven other spirits with him who are worse than he himself and they all move in and live there. And the end of such human being will be worse than the beginning. Tell A and all his mature family members, which are his wife and daughters. Those who seek will find. Those who knock, the doors will be opened. And those who ask, to them will be given what they ask for in abundance. If somebody has a wife, and the wife loves her husband in silence, so the world may not notice it, because she thinks that the world might think badly of her, if the world would realize that she clings to her husband with all her heart. That's why she acts cold and embarrassed outwardly, and she does not allow her body to be touched, all the while she internally burns with desire. Since the husband has made all his efforts, in vain, to secretly make his wife completely submissive, since she stays shy at all times, partially because of her womanhood, partially because of the world, and even partially because of her foolishness and stupidity. What will this husband now do? I tell you, he will let his squeamishly stupid wife stay in her foolishness until her very end, out of love, and he will never ever touch her again, not even with one finger. But he will plant his seed on some other ground, where there is a lot of weed and thistles, thinking, even if I will not be able to harvest here, I want to plant a seed still, which will be of my name and for a future sowing and plentiful harvest. And I tell you, this man has done the right thing, by chastising his wife this way, because he did it out of love. And now I tell you as well, I am this husband, and you are the very foolish wife. Well, I have tried to touch you and hold you close to my heart so many times already. But you continue to twist yourselves free by all kinds of worldly shyness and foolish as well as humble, worldly, virtuous reasons. You keep the love, which belongs to me, locked away within you, and you think that the time will eventually come when I come and blow upon you, so you will be able to immeasurably love me. Or you think that I will notice that love within you, maybe even with a microscope. Well, you are mistaken, and if you continue to persist therein, I will do as the husband and leave you in your squeamishness. Therefore, be open, like I am. Talk to me with trust and with an open and free love, and my old book will not have a single letter which will not shine forth a sevenfold light upon you. You will be able to read within your heart, revealed with a large font, the secret of the great spirit world. And now, see and hear the understanding of the three verses in Luke. If a human being lives morally and rightfully according to the outer law and follows it strictly and accurately through its own urge and feeling of what is right, and also defeats every temptation by the will subordinated to the intellect, there the deceiver and tempter will recognize that there is nothing to do for him in this house. So he will subsequently leave it angry and depart. He will comb through all these scrawny residences on the entire world. And when he realizes that no good or evil seed will be able to take root in such places, he will say to himself, where there is no moisture, there are only deserts, and thus no place to stay for me. What shall I do? I will turn around and go look what my very first estate looks like. He turns around and rushes back there. He finds his old residence completely cleansed and decorated with virtue and victory garlands. He likes it now very much there, but he feels too weak to take possession of it again, 
since he is only a spirit of the flesh. And so, he returns to hell and takes seven spirits with him, all of them worse than him, which are a great flatterer, a great hypocrite, a great eulogist, an ambitious one, a proud one, a despiser and a slanderer, as well as a master of ceremonies, a gourmet and a glutton, behind whom he himself stands again. And so, this evil horde receives easily admittance and takes full possession therein. Now, as bad as the first state was under the temptations of the flesh, so this second state will be even worse than the first one because the desire thereby has let himself be captivated by all malice in his own self, because all his correct doings were not done out of love for me, but out of self-love, and as such has consumed all the true life moisture within himself, because of which he was not able to bear any fruit, and thus became arid and dead. For behold, I alone am the life within you, only through your love for me, through the correct observance of my commandments in your deeds, as well as in your words and thoughts, out of love for me. And even if you would act as bustling as the bees and ants, if you don't do it all out of love for me, which is the only thing that gives you strength and life to withstand hell and all its future temptations, you will never find rest, neither here nor there. Your fate will be like the one of the mentioned animals, whose honey and brood will be taken from them, despite their stinging and pinching weapons, because they are only simple creatures and are guided by their instinct, like a man allowing his will to be captivated by his cold intellect and setting the love aside unheeded, and with it his freedom and the true life springing forth from it. Look, this is the understanding of these three verses. Therefore, beware of the intellect, if it doesn't have its origin in my love alone, but elsewhere. Let your intellect always be subject to my love, like the divinity is subject to me, her eternal love. Otherwise, you'll end up like one of those purified and decorated houses, as the parable of the three verses shows you. Amen.